happens. Michael, Sylvia. All right, Chris, thanks. Drama in the courtroom and the trial of a woman accused of murdering her boyfriend with poison. Michelle Hale is on trial for the murder of Damien Skipper in Baton Rouge, but a key witness skipped out today. Let's get you live to News 2's Best Casualty. She is at the courthouse. That's right, Sylvia. Michael, today was mostly a day for logistics as the witnesses we heard from were there to talk about how and when certain evidence was collected. But there was a key witness who could have provided a bit more of an in depth testimony that just decided not to show up. One of the doctors who was involved in the autopsy of Michelle Hale's husband refusing to show up to testify Tuesday. She says she has COVID. The state says she's been difficult for weeks. Dr. Samantha Huber is the chief pathologist for the Orleans Parish Coroner's Office and took part in the autopsy of author Knopflin, who is suspected to have been poisoned the same way as Damien Skipper. The state told the judge that Huber demanded $800 an hour for her time and still didn't show up. The judge issued a warrant for her arrest if she does not show up Thursday, which a spokesperson for the coroner's office told us she would. This just a tiny piece of drama in the case straight out of a Hollywood movie. Michelle Hale, known as the double black widow, accused of poisoning not one, but two men she claimed to love, all for a check, more than $750,000 in insurance payouts. The method, evidence points to barium poisoning, which the state says she researched and purchased before both her boyfriend Skipper's and husband Knopflin's deaths. Upon exhumation and autopsy, Skipper was found to have more than 2,000 times the normal amount of barium in his body. Knopflin, whose body was found burned in a car in New Orleans, had complained of similar abdominal pain in the weeks before his death that sent Skipper to the hospital, a primary symptom of barium poisoning. Now, the judge in this bench trial has a busy day tomorrow and won't be able to make court. So, court will resume on Thursday at 9 a.m. And the lawyers tell me they still expect this trial to wrap up by the end of the week. Reporting live, Best Casserly, WBRZ News 2. Best thanks. A convicted killer from Ascension Parish is out of jail tonight.